This cabron thinks I'm stupid. You thought, puta. Oh shit! Alright y'all, so your boy re-ran Arkham Origins, uh, and I say it's peak, and y'all motherfuckers just hating. And to further prove my point, we're gonna start this whole from beginning to end. Uh, so let's get right into it. Batman calls up his suit, and he suits the fuck up for this prison riot. So he heads over there to stop Black Mask and the prison riot that is going on. Nah. I really like this whole entire prologue to this fucking game, son. It really establishes the first interaction with this criminal that Batman is very much feared of and he's believed as a myth, only being active for the last two years. But the criminals are like, what the fuck am I looking at seeing this imposing nigga that is like 6'2 fucking ready to stomp you the fuck out? I also heard with this game there's a lot of fucking glitches back on release 10 years ago. Now, I actually can remember some glitches on my PS3 version of this fucking game, but I'm playing on the PC for this game. I haven't really seen any glitches when I was playing this, son. The only glitch I saw when I was playing through this first fucking part was this shit. What's up, bitches? No, damn, what the fuck? Where did he go? Damn. What the fuck? But that's that, I was chilling like a fucking villain, my boy. Batman continues his pursuit on Black Mask and the whole entire ride that is going on. He then encounters that there's something large roaming around fucking Black Cape Prison. Turns out to be Killer Croc. That trucking nigga had Batman, son. But unfortunately, Batman had to see Commissioner Loeb get gassed in the gas chamber thanks to Black Mask putting his ass in there, son. As Batman continues to follow Black Mask and Killer Croc, you see they drone fall from the fucking stairs, son. And it turns out the drone that's been following them around. So Batman takes the memory chip that will come in handy for later on. Batman eventually makes it up top to the rooftop where Killer Croc and Black Mask are at. Black Mask dips with Killer Croc then staying to hold off Batman and the first boss fight of this game begins. And honestly it's very fucking simple. I always let the first boss fights of any video game slide unless you gotta work cause them hoes are usually fucking crazy. But any other game I usually just let the first boss fight slide if it's like too fucking easy because it's the first boss fight I don't really expect it to be fucking overarchingly challenging. The first boss fight is very very simple as he picks up our pan tanks you fucking chuck the batteries out of him more damage to his ass and you can do the super stun to beat his ass and that's all you really need to do on his ass and after that batman just whoops that ass kicks that nigga into the fucking guardrail having him trapped and starts beating the fuck out of him to ask him where the fuck black mass is at Crack eventually reveals that there's eight assassins coming for this nigga and whoever gets your ass is gonna be rich motherfucker batman just knocks that nigga out and says this shit even got Batman roasting niggas as he fucking knocks him the fuck out. <laughs> Oh man, the beginning of this nigga tweaking, son, and it only's gonna get even more crazy the amount of tweaking he does in this game. After that, the one time come on the set and Batman just fucking dips, leaving Killer Croc laid the fuck out. So Batman heads back to the Batcave and activates the Bat computer by putting the chip in to see who are the eight assassins Black Mask hired. And the list goes down like this. First one was Killer Croc, but Batman already packed this nigga the fuck up, so he don't gotta worry about that bum. Deathstroke, the nightmare of my childhood back in teen. Titans. This nigga out here showing y'all why he a G. Then there's Firefly, a pyromaniac. This man flexing all the mixtapes he bought online. Which one is that, son? Dash EXP 2029? Copperhead, a master escape artist. A character we will never see again after Batman drops this bitch. Then we got Deadshot. The real Deadshot. Never the fuck this fuck ass nigga is. <laughs> Some bum named Electrocutioner. And Batman doesn't even give him the common courtesy of anything else but a street tough. Y'all already should have known by that fucking title, this nigga was a bum. Lady Shiva, son, a character I bet you 99% of y'all niggas don't even know who the fuck she is. And I don't blame you, because she was fucking wasted in this game as a side mission. Last but definitely not least, we are greeted by the GOAT. <laughs> nigga has the drip, the D1 pull up, and the game glazing him too? That's the real main villain in this fucking game. He's so cold, he even had Batman shook on why the fuck this nigga was here, yo. Motherfuckers want bitch and complain that the Joker was the main villain. <laughs> the Joker was the main villain. Aw, oh, shut, shut the, the fuck up. up. This is the main villain right here, son. Motherfucking Bane. Yo, that nigga was a G from beginning to end. Y'all will see later on in the fucking video on why he's such a mess. Batman figuring out what to do next. And what he does ends up finding out is about the Penguin. The only one knowing about the shit. Gets to the Penguin's arms deal. He'll find out. 
out where he at. After that, Batman's chilling on top of this clock tower, waiting for the arms to start. This man out here posing so hard, he made sure the PS3 wallpaper was ready. And after these dumb motherfuckers stop yapping, Batman goes down there and whoops all that ass. Ah. Batman then throws the last dude, fucking kicks his ass and shit. And then look how Batman does this nigga. Uh, bro, why he posing unintentionally to grab a nigga? Batman then picks this motherfucker up by the throat and starts fucking interrogating him about the penguin. But unfortunately for Batman, he does not know his own strength, so ends up choking this motherfucker out. This is why I say Arkham Origins Batman is tweaking the fuck out because look at what Batman does next to this dude. What the Hello, motherfucker. Batman's holding this motherfucker by the ankle over the clock tower. And I don't know how this motherfucker's not singing like a canary because I would have started snitching on everybody, son. Break Takashi 6 9 Rob. Everybody getting ran down the list. Batman then drops this motherfucker down the clock tower only to catch his ass, son. So he can hit his front piece on the fucking clock tower. And I don't know how this motherfucker face got all types of fucked up. It broke a nose or some shit because when he pulls him back up, he's as fine as a daisy, yo. Look, my boy, how's your fucking damn durability? that hard batman gets his fucking phone out of his pocket to get what he needs so you would think batman would just you know string him up like he normally does right wrong this is arkham or this batman he tweaking out because batman actually drops this nigga down the fucking clock tower yo what <laughs> Ah, and y'all call this game trash? Batman arrives inside the penguin ship and he gets confronted by this Australian bitch and she calls for the second boss fight in the game, Electrocutioner. And as Electrocutioner's talking all that trash, this happens. You got knocked the fuck out, man! After Batman lays waste to this bum, he then asks us who the fuck is next. So all these motherfuckers start jumping on into the pile and turn into a mosh pit boss fight like it did in Arkham City in the museum, son. After Batman knocks out all these bums, he then interrogates the last dude to ask where the fuck is Penguin at. And he start yapping, talking about penguins in the theater. That's where Batman fucking heads to. Batman arrives to the theater and starts dropping all of Penguin's henchmen. I need to pause it real quick right here and take a little detour because I need to talk about Penguin because this nigga is an absolute a bum let me clarify arkham penguin is a bum anytime we see this nigga he always either cowering in fear or getting licks of niggas that already did most of the damage they are getting the last fucking hit it's like my boy you did nothing all you did was got assist i don't mind penguin being a villain but can he actually be a g a set of comic relief my boy because like if you look at the fucking penguin show is coming out he look like he's gonna be a fucking problem yo even back in gotham that nigga was a problem this man really had the government start Taxing rhyme, bro. Like, <laughs> yo, like, what? Nah, yo, he definitely getting his own video. That motherfucker, absolute G. But compare those two, Arkham Penguin is always a bum. I guess maybe he's based off the anime series version. That's why he's such a fucking bum. I don't fucking know. Before Batman arrives, he's out here torturing our Burrow Falcone like he tough shit. And then Batman gets there. He's like, I'm scary. scary. Shut, Shut up, up, man. man. Ever since so whoop all this fucking goons' his ass as Penguin goes and hides behind the chair like... Nah, bro. Arkham Penguin is a bum. And after Batman's done whooping all that ass, Penguin out here backing away, fucking moonwalking and shit, my boy. <laughs> then Batman picks him up and tosses him across the room. <laughs> Like, bro, this is who y'all afraid of in the Arkhamverse? This penguin right here? Get the fuck out of here, bro. He a bum, yo. I can beat him, yo. Y'all cannot have me as Batman. I will shit up fucking Randy Orton his ass. Hunt kick that nigga. As Batman's interrogating the penguin, penguin starts to yap about some shit that happened in Lacey Towers about a murder. And as penguin's about to spill more of the beans, Deathstroke comes in and sneaks Batman, son, knocking his ass to the outside. And now the real second boss fight begins. Ah. Before I get right into this boss fight, I need to take another quick detour because I don't know if y'all know this, but you could actually play as Deathstroke in this game. Deathstroke being playable. The only Batman Arkham game with Deathstroke being playable. So what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using our katana and shit, slicing, dicing niggas and shit. Or maybe in the multiplayer mode, Deathstroke is playable. His guns and his katana as like a mercenary or some shit. Wrong! None of that shit. Deathstroke, yeah, he's playable. You know what he uses? His staff. 
because you know when I think of Deathstroke weapons, I think of his fucking staff. That's what he fought Oliver Queen with. Are you fucking kidding me? I know I've been glazing this game this entire fucking video up at this point, but this is one of the few things that I have to say that this game really did took a hard L. Deathstroke should not be using a fucking staff. Deathstroke should be using his enhanced fucking strength from a katana to slice and dice niggas. I'm not asking fucking to chop a head off or something, but couldn't we at least have different animations and shit? All they did with Deathstroke was reskin Robin's moves and did it for Deathstroke. All they fucking did, yo, was absolutely fucking hilarious. And funny enough, Robin's actually playable in the multiplayer mode. All they did was just copy Arkham City and then put it in here. Unfortunately, I will not be talking about the multiplayer mode because I have no gameplay for it yet because I am trying to get a mod to actually actually allow me to play online mode so I will be trying to do that shit and I will definitely give y'all some gameplay and talking about the multiplayer mode in a separate video and I'll also talk about the Coco Heart DLC in the separate video as well but yeah play as Deathstroke in this game is just very disappointing they really did drop the ball with that shit son let's get right back to the fight this boss fight is the best boss fight in the entire game bar none it really does challenge Batman and challenges the player son to really counter correctly and for the first time ever I actually completed this boss fight without dying once and I said it back in my Arkham City video that I usually collect death fighting this nigga. Because I do. I do collect death. This recording was my first time fighting him. One try. I beat that nigga only collecting two hits from his ass. And there was some times where I thought I was going to get smacked in the dome piece. Like this one right here. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Woo! Wait a minute. But other than that, I showed that motherfucker who's boss after 10 years. Fuck you, Slade. After Batman defeats Deathstroke, he takes the remote claw and dips to go to Lacey Tower to investigate the murder. So Batman makes it to the Lacey Towers and discovers the crime scene, son. So he investigates this shit using the good old fashioned rewind technology. I ain't even gonna lie, this was pretty cool. They even added this shit into detective mode and into the investigation part of Batman's kit. And it was so good, they even added in Arkham Knight. And this investigation leads him to discover that it was not the Penguin, but someone else, unknown assailant. So he heads to the freaking GCPD, goes get the criminal database, and after Barbara Gordon tells him to head to to the sewers, he has to the sewers and finds out the man named the Joker was behind all of this shit. Now a very common complaint with this game is that the Joker being the main villain was fucking trash or some bullshit wherever these hating ass niggas were talking about. And all I gotta say to you bum ass niggas is did y'all play the same game that I played? Cause listen, it made sense per storyline to have the Joker integrated into this shit. Now, you gotta remember though at the time, this game came out after Arkham City. So expectations are already fucking high as fuck after they killed off the Joker in that game. At that time, niggas were like, alright, we're gonna get this from Batman villain. They even marketed it this way, not to include the Joker. But see, I guess niggas never heard a fucking twist before. It's not like they were fucking hiding the shit. In the beginning of the game, Black Mask does this shit. And he is the calendar man. <laughs> Remember Black Mask laugh like that, son. Even in the beginning, the game is doing out of character shit. You just got a nigga saying that this game has no originality in terms of story. Huh? This game literally has Batman being Batman for two years, not being able to save niggas because he's inexperienced, he's younger, he's more brash. You have to learn to trust his allies and not act like he's an island, but one man, and even a man like him, can use help from the people close to him. They have a Joker fucking testing Batman's no kill rule because he's asking Batman. Batman, why the fuck would you save him, dog? I am trying to kill you. So the Joker is obsessed with Batman's no kill rule on some The Dark Knight shit. I love how they took elements from that fucking dope ass movie and put into this shit. So in the final fucking fight, you have this epic guy sequence here. Either fucking Bane dies, Joker dies, or Batman dies. The point is, one of them is gonna die. But the final fight is dope as fuck. So we can cut that bullshit ass narrative that this game has no fucking originality. Come sick and tired of your hating ass niggas. <clears throat> head right back to the rest of this shit. Batman figures out that the Joker's gonna be at the bank, so that's exactly what this motherfucker heads to. Batman arrives to find the Joker, so he checks where the vault is at. Your sorry ass thinks you can just walk into my bank, huh? Roman, I'm here for the Joker. Joker? <laughs> I don't know that nigga. What about you, bitch? Do you know the Joker? The who? <laughs>
And you, sir, does the name Joker ring a bell? You think you can just steal from me and get away with it? You're fucking dead. Dead. Can't you just play along? Gah, you stupid fuck. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> Load him up. Now, normally, I would do a little spoof on this fucking scene some, but honestly, this shit is so good by Troy Baker, and he's such fucking underrated performer as the Joker. I'm gonna let the fucking goat take over. It, it, it's been you this whole time. You hired the assassins. You've been running Sionis' operation. Well, technically, it's my operation now. Isn't that right, boys? You got me. Now let her go. Oh, life would be so simple if you were all I wanted. No, no! You're just a teeny little distraction compared to what I've got up my sleeve. <laughs> Here, have a laugh on me! <laughs> you hear that? Sounds like eight tiny reindeer. This scene also proves how good the music is in this game, son. Christopher Drake fucking kills it with this OST, son. It's my personal favorite Arkham game OST. I just love the Christmas music mixed with Batman shit. Because have y'all listened to the fucking main theme? It is straight heat. You can literally hear carols of the bell in the Batman main theme of this game. Batman interrogates one of his henchmen and he asks us where the fuck the Joker's going. And this man snitches talking about that he's in the Sayana steel mill and you ain't gonna get in there blah blah blah. Batman knocks his ass out and heads to the steel mill. Batman now inside the steel mill finds where Roman Sionis is at and he lets him free only to begin to interrogate his ass about the Joker. But since Black Mask ain't talking, Batman proceeds to fucking start breaking his ribs, son. But this man still wanna talk, so then Batman says this shit. I can control your pacemaker remotely. You wanna see what 250 beats per minute feels like? <laughs> He tweaking the fuck out, yo. This motherfucker really said I'm gonna give you basically a heart attack per minute. And I believe that motherfucker too. He dropped the nigga off a fucking rooftop. I believe he will fucking do that shit. But before that could happen, Copperhead comes in and sneaks this motherfucker and then poisons Batman. And before the actual fight does happen, we get to see inside of Batman's psyche a little bit. Him having some self-doubt in the form of Alfred and also him feeling some guilt as well of not saving those people from earlier in the game. Like Commissioner Low and at the bank with that woman the Joker killed. I really like this shit a lot because it really does give you more of a humanized version of Batman and into his mind at this point in time in the game. It definitely reminds me of some of the episodes in the animated series where he dealt with Batman and the internal struggle that he has with himself. I genuinely enjoyed that shit because it does humanize the character and I really fuck with that. But other than that, this boss fight is pretty fucking lame because we got my favorite Mosh Pit Jumpy Nigga Boss Fight because all you do for this Fight is just fight multiple clones of this bitch until you find the real run. As y'all know in my Arkham City video, I really love that boss fight with Ray Shaw Ghoul, son. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. you, of course I don't! Batman eventually does hold off Copperhead long enough for the cure to come in. Due to them sending the components of the poison to Alfred for the Batcave, and Alfred had time to synthesize that help. And now with Batman fully cured, he has his fucking full strength back to then slam this bitch like a WWE move, cause he even got me shook. You sleep. Damn! <laughs> As Batman's tying this bitch up, she then starts ratting out that the Joker and all these motherfuckers are gonna meet up and shit. And she said, I'm gonna tell you where it at. But Batman's like, thank you, bitch. And close that fucking container, locking her ass in there. And thanks to Alfred suggesting that they should just use the fucking EMP electromagnetic waves that are coming off of Electrocution's gloves. They go track it down to the hotel. Batman makes inside the security room to see where the Joker is at and the meeting that's going on. And the meeting went about like this. Friends. Assassins, welcome to our first quarterly performance review. As you can see here, Batman deaths are coming. Far low projections. <laughs> 
We're really gonna have to start turning this around. And by we, I mean you. <laughs> Got that, Mr. Kushner? Just who the hell are you? I'm the guy with the money. And the gun. <laughs> so, when I hire you to kill the Batman, you shut the fuck up and kill the Batman. So, do you have anything else to contribute? I didn't think so. <laughs> This fruitcake is fucking fantastic. Does anyone want a piece? All right, meetings adjourned. Get out there and kill the bat. Take this. <laughs> I'm coming to bury you, Batman. Move along, big man. No, he's coming for you now. And when he does, I'm going to kill him. So you wait. <laughs> well, this should be interesting. Wee! <laughs> After that, Batman goes to Electrocutioner's corpse and takes his shot gloves, son, and he starts using it as another gadget for himself. I'm not even gonna lie to you, the shot gloves in this game is probably the coolest addition they ever added into this game, and I really wish Return in Arkham Knight as some way, shape, or form. I don't know why Batman would not keep this fucking gadget in his fucking arsenal, son, in Arkham Knight, but that besides the point. This shit was very cool. As you can see, it helps Batman get to other areas, losing lifts and shit, or opening gates with the fucking shot gloves, but the best part about the shot gloves is using it during combos. When you are extending your combo, the meter builds up, and then you can start using the shot gloves. Kind of works like a little rage meter and shit. For example, like some God of War shit with the Rage of Sparta, or Spider-Man 2 where it had like the Venom symbiote and Golf Peter, and you can use that shit to attack enemies. Kind of like that with this shit, son. This shit was awesome and very fun, and I really wish they added the shot gloves back. It was very rewarding to really continue the combos. Some niggas said that it made the game way too easy. I'm like, my boy, are we playing the same game? Because my sorry ass ain't good at some of these fucking games, son, okay? Because y'all know I'll be fucking up. Fuck you, ninja nigga. You ninja nigga. You ninja nigga. This nigga is trash. And I am positive if my sorry ass was playing on the hardest difficulty in this fucking game, son, and I was doing the combo meter and shit, that shit will be fucking very rewarding. Do not shit New Game Plus film where they fucking have the counters not pop up on the screen. Y'all know only that shit, cause y'all know I'll be fucking up with this fucking game, son. That shit will fuck me up on top of that shit being on the hardest difficulty, and I wouldn't know my combo meter, and that should be mad fucking rewarding using them shot clubs to get that upper hand, yo, on New Game Plus. That shit sounds awesome. Actually, that sounds like a good ass video idea. My dumb ass playing all the Arkham games on the hardest difficulty to try to beat all them hoes? Let me know in the comments below if y'all want to see that shit. Eventually, Batman makes it up to the elevator to the penthouse. And he figures, you know what? Let me trick these motherfuckers by going up top the elevator, son. But this happens. This guy, bro, thinks I'm stupid. You thought, puta. Oh, shit! Get up, motherfucker! God! God! Nice of you to drop in. <laughs> Kill me! He's mine, you loco! Ah, <laughs> uh, 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 nigga. You gave your word. <laughs> you have one minute. Ooh, he's more hyped up on roids than The Rock. <laughs> Now, I have a tradition in my household to open up one present on Christmas Eve. So I'm gonna go straight sneaking on this shit. Eeny, meeny, money. This one. <laughs> and they part ridges in the pear tree. Come here, nigga. How many lives did you just take? None, I think, nigga. That was just a little stocking stuffer, a construction site, blocking my view. <laughs> <laughs> But this one isn't. Give me that shit, nigga. So Batman has Joker about to throw and start beating the fuck out of him until Bane fucking eats his ass, son. Starts talking shit to Batman, saying, I've long waited for this fade. 
with your death, I will find peace. Then punches the shit out of this motherfucker again, and then picks his ass up, throws his ass out the window, son, to another part of the fucking hotel. And after that, son, the first fight with Bane begins. Ah. This boss fight is pretty fucking dope, man. What you do is do the ultra stun combo on his ass, and then fucking start mollywhopping his bitch ass, son. Bane is able to grab Batman if you fuck up or do it at the wrong timing. My dumb ass got punched multiple times because my dumb ass clearly did not learn the fucking memo. But eventually, Bane takes off the jacket, and then he douches himself up with Venom to add an extra layer of armor in his health bar. And what you do is do the ultra stun to take off the fucking Venom to then get his health bar available to then beat his ass as well with the health bar. But the fact that doesn't last long inside because Bane grabs Batman and tosses his ass through the fucking window, son, taking the fight to the outside on top of the roof. Ah, and as all the fucking ops are watching and Bane's minions coming in, the Joker fucking watching as well, narrating the fight. The fight is just going bonkers, son. Alfred's Chucky out here calling the one time to help out Batman. Batman still scrapping with Bane and shit, doing the ultra stun, dodging and weaving him when he has goofed up Venom mode and shit. Like, this fight's all over the place, but it's fucking awesome, son. It really is. And I gotta say, they really did cook with this fucking fight. So much, show. They had my dumb ass at one health. Now he actually had me fucking shook. No. 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 Fuck you, bitch. Eventually, Batman is able to hold off Bane long enough for Bane's ops to roll in deep, son. And Bane dips on the helicopter, but Batman puts a tracker on that nigga. And then the Joker just into this fucking chaos and destruction going on, starts firing away at Bane's fucking helicopter. So Bane whips out a whole entire RPG, blows the fucking backdrop sky high, son. Having the Joker fly off the building, and leaving Batman to go into swan dive to try to save this motherfucker. And they're free falling and shit. And Batman weaves the punch over to have the Joker restrain and catches his ass, son, for the fucking ops. We now are in Blackgate Prison and we get a cool ass fucking scene and gameplay with the Joker's son as he is talking to Harleen Quinzel, a young psychiatrist that is doing a psych evaluation on his ass, son. As the Joker's talking, we actually get to see Arkham Joker's backstory and it's clearly very much similar to the Killing Joke, which is dope as fuck. And you actually get to play as the Joker in this fucking sequence. And I really love the dialogue with this scene the most is because you actually really get to hear how he psychologically manipulates Harley Quinn, preys on her loneliness and her having not a lot of friends. And he sees that and he uses that to his advantage. Very great stuff to really show how the Joker mind works in this sequence. The whole time, Harley Quinn thought that she was getting talked about by him. But in actuality, the Joker was just talking about Batman. Trying to question, why the fuck would Batman save me, nigga? Knowing that he's psychologically manipulating this woman. He is able to break free with the help of Harleen. Because it's very much implied that she did help this nigga break out for the later part of the game. So I'm gonna assume that she helped that nigga. And then we also get a dope ass scene with Batman coming back home to the Batcave and thinking about his parents' death and him being questioning why he does what he does because he did almost die against Bane. He didn't defeat that nigga, son, and Bane's still on the loose. And even if Alfred fucking questioning him, yo, my boy, fucking rest. You're gonna die out here doing this shit by yourself. But Batman, being young and more brash, says this fucking awesome line of dialogue that y'all niggas gotta see for yourself. Alfred, who do you see when you look at the boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predator. Be. No, not what? may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred. I am not in over my head. Tonight will not be my head. But it will be theirs. Woohoo! This game is fucking heat! Batman heads to the tracker he placed on Bane to catch his ass. And that leads him all the way to the sewer. So Batman finds his hideout. And it turns out that this man, Bane, has been investigating Batman and figured out that Batman is Bruce Wayne. So shook as fuck, Batman destroys the whole entire fucking computer and blows up the set, son. As he's about to warn Alfred and head over there, Alfred informs him that Firefly is planning to blow up the Pioneer's Bridge. And if 
Batman doesn't show up, he'll blow that whole entire set. After hearing that news, Batman reads the rest course to stop Firefly. Batman makes it up to Firefly and they start scrapping over the fucking detonator, son, because Firefly has the last fucking bomb activated. All you do for this boss fight is throw batterings at this motherfucker and throw the web grenade at his ass. Fucking suck him the fuck up and then bring his ass down to whoop that ass. I very much like how creative this boss fight is, especially fucking integrating Firefly's fight mechanics into it so it has Batman throw the gadgets at him to just bring him down to the ass. I like that shit a lot, son. It's way fucking better than the fucking Batmobile bullshit in Arkham Knight, son. And don't get me started how they did fucking Deathstroke, yo. That shit was fucking garbage. So things are going super Batman, son. Whooping his ass on a consistent basis until Firefly does this shit. Ah, fuck this. Motherfucking burn. Batman, <laughs> Give me this shit, nigga. <laughs> Looks like your dumbass can't fly, and I am invisible. Don't. Time to bounce, motherfucker. Ooh, you suck. What? Why's it not working? I'm inevitable. All right, plan B. No, we like pineapples. So then the fight turns into a fucking running chase sequence, son. I ain't gonna lie, this is pretty fucking cool, yo. I cannot. I was fucking with this. And eventually it goes right back into the fight. And Batman whoops that motherfucking ass son like he usually do. Leaving this nigga posted up like a Christmas ornament. And also after this fight, Jim and Batman learn to trust each other a bit, yo. Learning that, yo, we are on the same motherfucking side and just maybe we can be niggas. And Batman does the classic ninja vanish. So Batman's flying back to the back cave only to get an incoming Discord chat from Bane? What's up? Calling from your crib. I have to say, this place looking nice as a motherfucker. I left enough room for your butler to be alive to say some last words. Once you come in here and say your grievances, come find me, Buddha. Also, I took your Air Force Ones. Your black Air Force Ones, because you ain't no menace. That shit belongs to me. No, I'll bring in my Air Force Ones, you son of a bitch. Batman straight up tweaking out looking for Alfred, activates his computer again to restore to detective vision, and he finds Alfred underneath all that rubble. And I ain't even gonna talk over this fucking shit, son. Just watch this shit. Alfred, you can't. Don't add me to the weight you carry. Honestly, if this shit was not connected to the Arkhamverse at all and it was his own separate entity, this shit would've gave me some fucking Aunt May vibes and Spider-Man PS4 type shit. Oh my lord, they got me tearing up even though I know this motherfucker come back. And after Batman resuscitates Alfred, we get another 10 out of 10 fucking scene that I ain't gonna disrespect and I'm gonna let it play out. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Situation critical. Multiple casualties reported. Code 10. Repeat, code 10. Any available unit. Repeat, any available unit. Please respond. Bruce, now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own. But it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. He won alert. The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us.
this game is actually scripture. Definitely my fucking number two favorite Arkham game in terms of story, son. And y'all call this game trash? Y'all niggas can go off! It's the, the direction, direction you, you can, can fuck! fuck. Cause I don't wanna hear it! After Batman realizes that he has fucking friends and family that wanna help him, he has to black gate to stop the Joker. After Batman saves Harleen, she then tells him that the Joker's waiting for him at the pen octagon. With that knowledge, that's where Batman fucking heads to. Batman arrives to the set and he sees the Joker half the whole entire stage, half the warden fucking hostage, and he begins talking all his shit, talking about, I understand. You didn't kill me, cause you're a pussy. And now, you must be thinking, I really should have killed him, cause look at the chaos I've caused. I got this police force down to its knees, and I killed so many people, and it's not even time to open up presents. <laughs> After the Joker tells the crowd to cry it down, Bane's big ass walks on in and he's ready for this fucking fade. Mask off and fucking gloves on. And Joker begins to align the fucking plan. Bane has a heartbeat monitor and it's keeping track of his heartbeat. Each time his heart beats, it's going to charge this electric chair. And once the electric chair is fully charged, the Joker will die. But if Batman kills Bane, then Bane will be the one that's dead and the Joker will live. But if he doesn't, Bane's gonna kill Batman because they are fighting all to the death. Armed with that knowledge, Bane goes down and the first half of the final fight begins. To be honest y'all, this final fight is very much similar to the fight on the rooftop, but the only difference is I do think this could just me being just trash at this fucking game, which <laughs> uh, I probably am just trash. I think Bane does way more damage with his charge attack, son. He is obviously running way longer too than the first fight we had with that nigga, son. I don't know. I guess just cuz I'm probably just garbage at this fucking game. I'm so bad. I even fucking died oh My lord. Oh my lord. No Fuck! I think that's the most y'all ever heard me rage on this fucking channel outside of probably the Mortal Kombat story mode where I saw fucking Ermax disgraceful ass design so <laughs> There y'all go. Y'all want more gameplay videos? Let me know. Bane does get the upper hand with this fight with him having Batman pinned down with his big ass fucking foot on Batman's neck. While that's happening, Jim Gordon tries to fucking get the Joker, but Jim Gordon gets taken out by the fucking Joker. And now he has to fucking electric chair shit on Jim Gordon so they can both fry together. Then Batman remembers some shit from the bum electrocutioner to just jumpstart this nigga's heart. That's what Batman fucking does. Activates his shot glove and beats the shit out of fucking Bane, son, and eventually electrocuting this nigga to fucking kill this motherfucker, stopping his heart. Joker escapes after talking fucking trash, and as Jim Gordon and Batman have a little discussion, Batman tells him, yo, I don't fucking kill, and resuscitates Bane, son. But this leads to Bane grabbing Batman by the neck, and he injects himself with the TN1, turning him to Arkham Asylum Bane Mark 1. Bane choke slams Batman to the ground, but his ass rebounds mad fucking quickly, uses the explosive gel with Bane's strength to go on underground and this is where the second half of this final fight begins and this is why i said it i did not mind the first half of the review ship because it led right into this dope ass second half with using the predator tactics to take down bane and oh my lord this shit when you first play this is actually stress inducing it actually gives you the heebie jeebies it reminds me of the killer croc arkham asylum segment that's the, what this shit reminds me of son it had a lot of the tension that you felt from that fucking segment with bane roaming around and you had to outsmart him and sneak him after you sneak him you got run away very quickly and run to the fucking vents and shit it was so fucking good so fucking good there's even a part where you actually lose detective vision and you have to fucking hear bane's footsteps to determine where he's gonna go so you can go this use the disruptor to restore detective vision son like yo this shit has it all but of course it wouldn't be my dumb ass playing a fucking superhero game without finding any glitches because like with spider-man 2 where i found this glitch what what the fuck yo He's inside the fucking sand! Son! Bring him to me! What the fuck? I found another one during this fucking boss fight. I don't know if anyone found this shit, but take a look! What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, Batman! What? Did y'all see that shit?
Eventually, Bane gets defeated because Batman used the electric grates to stun that motherfucker to do a lot of damage to his ass, son. But that doesn't take him down for long because Bane grabs this nigga and pieces him up with this five hit combo, breaking him through the wall. Batman able to get up that fucking quickly because he's that nigga. Use the remote claw to have Bane trapped with more electrical circuits and it electrocutes his ass, son, taking his ass down. Then Batman strings his ass up, leaving him for Jim Gordon and GCPD. Eventually, Batman traps the Joker down to this chapel part of Blackgate Prison. Prison, son. And Joker and Batman begin talking trash before Batman starts beating the fuck out of him with an S-Class ass whooping. Batman beats the fuck out of Joker and leaves him for Jim Gordon. He then dips as Gotham is once again saved by the GOAT as this dope ass game comes to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed this fucking video, man. This shit took a hot fucking minute to make, yo. So I very much appreciate it. Y'all drop that like and give me a subscribe if you are new. If y'all want to, come on in and enjoy the real ones. Ah. Love y'all. Peace. He's out of my mini, me disappear like Houdini Let his body drop to the floor Splash land, now we dead Body shots from we had This man came for the rest I ain't let him get the rest Steady nigga got pressed Shooting threes in my feet Ballin' like I'm E.T. Ball balls play fall Later on hit the mall Cash cash like that I don't even make bets All I do is just to